everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Michelle and I'm really glad you're here today I have all six of the lawless blushes to try on for you we're going to look at colors we're going to see how they work together we're going to see if there are any obvious dupes that we're trying on this is what the packaging is going to look like so it's her pink she talks about clean beauty on it and these are called the pinch my cheek soft blur cream blush i appreciate that it's not 19 names also clean like you've never seen and then she's got the name of the colors that are on here um on her website it says it's a weightless creamy velvety soft texture that delivers long wear buildable color for the cheeks and lips and melts seamlessly into the skin i will tell you that on my lips i didn't want to have nothing so i'm just wearing the number two candy glaze from ysl because it's no color and then i just kind of like went really neutral on my eyes so that hopefully everything will look good with it it says this unique cloud-like texture melts seamlessly into skin without disrupting makeup for a blurred satin powder skin-like finish and can be worn on the lips infused with green tea extract to re-energize and protect the skin and micronized pigments for vibrant color payoff and superb blendability it comes in six shades. She describes them as angel, a nude rose. Cherry pie is a bright cherry pink. Gumdrop is a bright baby pink. Rosebud is a dusty cool rose. Starburst is a soft peach. And Valentine is a bright watermelon. Um, key ingredients in here are green tea, which is an antioxidant, protects the skin from the free radicals, energizes the skin for beautiful radiance. She has a hybrid elastomer microsphere powder. Bouncy, high-performing powders provide a soft focus finish with a creamy, velvety, soft, cushiony feel. These are definitely a cream to powder formula. I did touch one at Sephora um that they had out and then it says micronized pigments provide extremely vibrant color with superior blendability adherence and smoothness that glides onto cheeks and lips and melts seamlessly why are we gonna love it it's the bounciest velviest dreamiest texture you need to feel it to believe it superior blendability that melts seamlessly into the skin without patchiness layer build and blend over or under powder without disrupting your makeup well i don't have any powder on i just have the lisa aldrich seamless skin enhancing tint because it's really all i want to wear now so i've got that on in number three we are going to go in the order that she said so we're going to start with angel which is described as a nude rose Let's take a look at the packaging. It's plastic. It's supposed to look like metal, I think, with Lawless on the front there. Um, it feels very drugstore-ish. There's nothing luxurious about this. I'm opening it up and there is a full-size of the product mirror in here. And then he, this is what the pan size looks like this is the color angel which was described as a nude rose and i'm just gonna put my finger on here for a second i can feel that it's creamy but the minute it goes to my skin it's a powder very interesting let's take our angie hot and flashy a507 and let's go to town getting a little bit on the brush hair it's not a very dark color i'm going to live dangerously and i'm going to start to pat that on the color builds pretty quickly and this is a very soft color so that's very promising 
it is just immediately turning into a powder on my skin. Like there's n nothing damp about when it touches the skin. It's interesting. Very pretty color. Very natural flush. Let's get a little right up here. I want to overdo it a little so you can see. And that is Angel. Very pretty. What do you guys think? I like this color. I think this is going to be really pretty on a lot of people. Gosh, I really wish these felt more substantial. I think it's going to be a really pretty color on people. A nude rose. I like it. What do you guys think? Okay, this is interesting. It says 91% of the people preferred this texture over a powder blush. I mean, I feel like it's definitely very organic looking, but it feels like a powder. It says it provides a blurred, soft focus finish while melting seamlessly onto the skin. I could see that. I could see where that could be blurring. Comfortable and feels soft on the skin all day. I don't think it feels like anything is on my cheek. So that's really kind of nice. And no stickiness. I mean, nothing. Nothing. $29. Honestly, I would have paid like $32 or $34 if she would have made this into like a, a more... I don't know, like maybe like a refillable compact kind of idea that was metal. It would definitely be my only complaint. I think the color is beautiful and so far so good. I mean, I really like it. I'm using my spray from Jenny Patinkin. It takes the color off right away and dries your brush so that it's sterilized in between if you're doing different people or if like us, you want a clean brush to get a clean looking swatch. I'm going to go with Starburst. This is says it is a soft peach. So again, we've got that same component. That is P-E-H peach. Very, very peach. Okay, let's do it. It's sheer, so I'm hoping that my skin will help this one a little bit. This is not usually my kind of color. Usually things turn orange on me. Just trying to build it up. It's actually very pretty. I mean, if you like a peach, I think that's really a nice peach. It's not too baby. You know what I mean? It's not too pastel-y looking. I like it. I like that I can see my skin through it. All right, so here's the two that we have on right now. Over on this side, we've got the Angel Dusty Rose. And on this side, we have the Starburst Soft Peach. Very pretty. Love the finish. I love the way that it looks on the skin. Let's see what would happen if we put a little, a little highlighter on it to see how it would take that. This is just going to be a pearl from Victoria Beckham. Okay, that didn't lift off the blush. 
No, I think that that went well for both of these. Okay. I like these first two. I think that they we're on a good roll here. Just so we are on the same page, we have, this has an 18 month shelf life made in the USA. I'll take both of those. Okay, so we've got our two colors so far. We're gonna remove those and keep moving on to the next one. I happen to be a huge fan of her lip products. I love her Forget the Filler. I think it's such a great kind of old school gloss. And my favorite color of that right now is the Lilac. But I also just picked one up that was called like Watermelon, I think it was. Really both very, very, very pretty. Okay, let's get that dried off. We're gonna put a little bit of the Lisa Aldrich back on, just so it goes on top of something. I just, I'm really not caring about my hyperpigmentation today, guys. Let me be me kind of mood. And this just goes back on so easily. <laughs> the way that this makes my skin feel is just perfection. It just, it, it feels like I'm putting like a skincare product on. So nothing could be better. All right, that's the first two. All right, we are gonna move on to Gumdrop, which is a bright baby pink. I'm wondering if this is gonna be like the Dior Let's clean off the brush while we wait in suspense. <laughs> Lawless is one of those brands that has been really pushing the clean for clean makeup. And seeing an 18 month shelf life on clean, it doesn't bother me very much. Whatever they want to call themselves is great. Um, they are clean at Sephora. Ooh. That is almost like a bubble gum. Does it look like bubble gum? I think it looks like bubble gum. Okay, bright baby pink. Let's see what that looks like translated. Ooh, that's pretty. See, these colors are so sheer. You can really go to town and build up the color. I want to build it up so you guys can see it. What do you guys think? It's very pretty, it's soft. It's pretty cool toned. I like, it's almost got a, a luminosity to it where I can see either that or the Lisa Aldrich does, like there's some sort of sheen going on here. It's not like a flat color or like a flat matte or anything. I feel like it's very, you know, blushing from within kind of idea. All right, we're going to clean this one off and we are going to go into Rosebud, which is a dusty cool rose. And I have to say, I'm pretty excited about this one because this one sounds like it's up my alley. You know how everybody has an alley? My alley is mauve and plum and cool tones. <gasps> oh, I like it. Oh, that is just stunning. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Like immediately my favorite. It is just such a beautiful 
natural color for me. I can definitely drape it. Wow. You know, I actually really like both of these. I think that this brighter pink is also very pretty. And then we've got the mauve color. This is just more of a natural place for me to land all the time. This one is really fun for summer. I like this a lot. It reminds me a lot of that Armani color that we had that was like a cool pink. This is just a little bit brighter. I think it's like a nice way to do it. And this is just so skin native for me that it's it's a it's like if I invented one blush for myself, it would be that color. Everybody has like what the one thing that you know they look better in. I like that first one too that we did, that kind of dusty color. Okay, let's get another little shake. Gosh, I've been doing this a lot lately. I think the Lisa Eldridge has gotten me through it. It's just like putting on skincare. I mean, look how easy that is. And it takes away any of the redness that was there. I don't know what's in here. It's magical. And it is the best $49 you can possibly spend on your skin. I cannot recommend this enough. I cannot begin to tell you that it does not sink into one line. It's like you don't even know where it is. You can't figure it out, but you're more even, you're calm, you're hydrated. It's so good. All right, we're on our last two. We have Cherry Pie and Valentine. So let's go Cherry Pie first. Red has been a huge blush color this year. I feel like we have had a lot of reds that we have looked at together. And some of them have leaned really coral. Let's see what this one does. This one is a bright cherry pink. I'm anticipating. Okay. I, I, I see that. It's almost like, I don't know, I'm starting to feel like this blush color that everybody's calling red is sort of like this coral. Right? We'll see what it looks like as, as it goes on. With my skin tone, we just don't know. Are we ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Want to get enough on the brush here. All right, cherry pie, here we go. Let's get a little pigment. These are very easy to spread. Did you guys see how like it was kind of concentrated in one area, but the brush is really easily distributing the product evenly where I want it to go. I think this is one that could be built up on deeper skin tones. You guys would have to be the judge of that. This is a very pretty color that doesn't feel like it's as red as the Armani red was. I guess that's why they called it cherry pink. Um, but yeah, I think this is really pretty. I know she's got like a cherry lip. Forget the filler lip. But these literally immediately turn into that powder formula and makes them really easy to spread around. Okay, you guys, this brush cleaner is everything that you've ever wanted in a brush cleaner. 
just clean fresh on contact okay here we go with our last color and i'm kind of excited about this one because it's called valentine my mom was she's always been such a big valentine's day person and she always gave stuff to my sister and me she still does <laughs> it's really cute it's like her holiday special Ooh, that's kind of like a watermelon i would call that more than a valentine what do they describe this one as a bright watermelon I, that's awesome okay I like that. I like that even these deep colors are kind of goof proof. I don't feel like they get away from you and you can keep kind of dunking in and getting a little bit of it and kind of spreading it out. I mean, that is that's a pretty color. And yeah, I do think that these can be built up for deeper skin tones. Wow, I did that one up like a little bit higher than this one. And when you want to diffuse it, it's super easy to diffuse. Huh? All right, I got to try it with powder on it because they said it. So now we have to see if the claim is correct. I think I'm going to try to combine a few colors. Okay, last time, put a little bit. You got to shake this one up because there's so much skincare in here with the pigments. Okay. Last time. Okay. So they want us to powder. I'm just going to go in with my Prism Libre. I usually don't wear this much powder. <laughs> I usually just go under my eyes. So for experimentation purposes, I'm happy to do it. I do want to just give myself a little spritz. Okay. Let's get our brush cleaned up here. We're going to see how this this cream to powder is going to do on top of powder. Okay, I kind of want to combine Rosebud with Angel on the first side. So I'm going to go Rosebud first because it's kind of deeper. Kind of keep this one a little bit lower. And then bring in Angel. Because this is more of a dusty rose. I don't know what is going on back here. Like I have, do you guys ever have like a tag that just drives you crazy? I'm going to put a little of this here. Oh, these are so pretty together. It just gave like the right amount of... I don't know. There's some kind of luminosity to this that's very pretty. No problem over the powder whatsoever. I didn't think so. All right. On the other side, guys, what are we thinking? I want to layer up two of these. I think I'm going to use the gumdrop first and then see how I feel about 
what's going to go with it. So that was this bubblegum color. I'm going to keep this one a little higher. So I can drape another color. Let's go with, yeah, let's go with Valentine. Look at that. How oh, that just like amped up that whole situation. These are very, very pretty. Okay. I mean, they're, they are blurring. I think they are really pretty on the skin. I think the formula is really interesting. Like if you touch it, it definitely feels like a cream. But the minute you go to blend it, it's definitely a powder. So it's one of those kind of formulas. And you can also, with your finger with these, just take a little of a color Use your fingers to just dot on a little bit. Let's add a little, a little contour to these to see how that would look. And I'm just keeping this really far back. Oh yeah, I think this is really nice, like a really soft, smooth finish. I think the colors are really pretty. I think they're easy to wear. My only complaint is that I think this is like very kind of chintzy. Yes, it's $29 and you have a mirror and everything, but like this could so easily be metal and recyclable. So I feel like the clean beauty has to also do with sustainability. And I don't know if that's what they mean. It says indulge in this uniquely weightless creamy velvet blush balm delivers natural natural buildable color to the cheekbone and lips i've tried on my lips this unique cloud-like texture melts seamlessly into the skin without disrupting makeup for a blurred satin powder finish or on lips in soft and diffused wash of color okay We'll just try it on the lips. Usually, I'm not wild about something powdery on my lips. We'll try for science. All right, we'll try Rosebud. Yeah, it's just too silicone-y for me. At least that's what it feels like. I don't like that powdery lip feeling. Let's see what the ingredients say. Okay. I like this on the lips. Okay, yeah. Dimethicone. There's like a whole bunch of them in here. See, that's why I was thinking like, if something is truly clean, I don't know that it's having things like dimethicone. But I think these colors are beautiful. I think the formula is fantastic for the cheeks. I choose to, let's put on one of her lip glosses. Let's see what it is when we get it out. Oh, it's the lavender. It's my favorite one right now. Look at that applicator. See how it's got the, the little curve that curve fits your lips 
so perfectly. I actually like this lavender. Delicious thick gloss that your hair will get stuck in, but I don't care. This is an old school feel. Um, it looks really pretty with all of the rosy glow lilac colors too which would be pretty to layer with some of these just saying these lip glosses come in a zillion colors i will put them up here for you guys to look at you can order them in bundles i have to say i feel like lawless has consistently come through with clean beauty that functions as beauty. I think they have, you know, to redefine what it means to, to be a clean brand. I think you need to be sus a sustainable brand. I think that you need to be part of doing refills and things like that. I'm really starting to look at components that these companies keep pumping out and just the amount of plastic that is having to be used. I would love for it to be more glass bottles, things that can be recycled, things that can be refilled. But I think the formula is great. I think the colors are really pretty. I know I'm going to enjoy them. And it is very nice to have something lightweight for your purse that has a nice size mirror in it so you can kind of pull it together before you walk out of the bathroom or wherever it is that you have decided to go to fix yourself. Anyway, blush is always fun. I feel like we can't have enough blush. And we've had so many lip products that I just would prefer not. All right, it says it doesn't disturb anything. Let's see what happens when we put a highlighter on. Nothing. Wow, guys, I, I got to give this like a nine out of 10. I think it's really pretty and I think that you will enjoy it. I think the colors are great. I will swatch them all very quickly for you. Okay, I'm going in no particular order at this point. Don't want those falling on the first day. Because that is just so me. Okay, the first one we have is Angel. The second one we have is Starburst. Nice and vibrant before you go to the blend out too. I'm sure there are different brushes and different techniques that you can use. I would also try fingers. You pick up the product really nicely. That one is Rosebud. Okay, now we've got Gumdrop. That is Gumdrop. Next, we have Valentine. Look at that pigment. I like to see that. I like to see that there are colors for deeper skin tones. This one too. This is Cherry Pie. It's almost got like a neon feel to it.
the silky smoothness that you feel on these is 100% of from the silicones that are in here. Um, I also think that that's what gives it this nice cream to powder feel. I think these colors are very, very pretty. I think these two in particular are my favorite, but I have to say I'm I'm very surprised by both of these and excited about them. And then the bubblegum pink, I almost feel like I like the one better from Armani. And this peachy color is blended out, it seemed okay, which these do do. These definitely, obviously they diffuse easily. So there are your colors. And yeah, Annie Lawless is making some great stuff. Be sure to pick up one of these if you do not have this. It is one of the best lip glosses ever. If you are a Gen Xer or beyond and you remember old fashioned lipstick, this is that without the sticky. It is a nice, thick, stay put kind of layer on your lips that you can feel like they're juicy and they're just plumped and all of the good things. It's just awesome. And then the other thing that I love of hers is, these are everywhere in my house. This is called Forget the Filler. This is her nighttime mask. It's hydrating, plumping, and smoothing. This stuff saves me in the winter, particularly when it is cold and dry here in Chicago. This little baby, I put it on all day long. I mean, it's just that good. So highly recommend lip products, highly recommend these blushes. I think Annie is doing some great stuff. I love to see the interesting and I feel like how she's keeping everything very real and striving to do, you know, a really nice job with clean beauty and a place for, you know, people to go. You have to define for yourself what clean beauty is. But as far as the Sephora standards are, she has met those and even exceeded those. So... I think that, that that is no easy feat. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you would like me to do any swatch comparisons with these blushes, I feel like none of these are such unique colors that they're hard to determine what you have. But if you would like swatches like next to the new Armani's, that kind of thing, or whatever, you can ask me if I have whatever it is that you're looking for a swatch for. I just put those on my stories for people. I had somebody looking, I still have somebody looking for a warm pink. And, you know, when I find stuff, I post um, on IG. If you're not following me on Instagram, you really should be because I post all the sales, links to everything, when stuff launches, um, funny stuff. Lately, I've been posting a lot of Stevie Nicks because I'm going to see her again on Tuesday. My sister and I are driving to Indy and we're going to go see her again because she's going to be in Chicago in about three weeks with Billy Joel for her last show in America. I'm trying to drag my husband to that one, but I don't know how that one's, I don't know how that's working so far. But an outdoor concert where the bears play is just so special. It's where Pearl Jam's playing too, and I must go to that. Or I just, there is no like, should I, can I? I have to, I have to go to that. So anyway, my, my sister will be somewhere else and isn't able to go when they're here. So we're going Indy. So I will be like not on social media for about a day and that 
will be in honor of Stevie and just appreciating the music, but I'll be sending videos, I'm sure, but probably not answering as many questions and whatnot. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you enjoyed it. Did you like seeing swatches of these things and a demo on the cheeks? Um, let me know down in the comment section what your favorite color was. Do you like this kind of cream to powder thing? Like when it goes immediately to powder, do you like that? Is that something that you like in a blush? Or would you rather have like a phytosurgeon's balm that just diffuses and then when it's on, it's on? So two different kinds of formulas, I guess. And then we had, of course, the liquid blushes. These were quite different. You know, just a much wetter formula, which blended, but it's not like it went from liquid to powder, but you're still getting that really even distribution of pigment. Either way, tomato, tomato, right? It's all about finding the right colors for you and recognizing that those are the ones that you're looking for. So... I would love to see you again. Please subscribe to the channel. If you have not, hit the bell so you know when I upload. I am really sorry about this week, guys. Everybody goes through stuff, and that would be me right now. And I had to have something give, and I'm so sorry. But um, sometimes it just can't be helped, right? Um, I did put my question of the day up every day. I hope you guys are liking those. I think they're really interesting. I would love to see more of you participating in the comments because you guys get so much from each other. It's so cool. I love that. I love the discussion. I want to start a Facebook group. I got to get my numbers up over 10,000 so we can go on lives. Although we could do it from Instagram. But you got to follow me on Instagram then. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate you all so much. Mwah. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.